So I'd like to tell, I would like to talk about God's love for you, me for us. If you grew up in the church during the 70s, you might have uh, memorized this verse. It's John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So I'd like to talk about the first half. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So world, again, that's you, me, that's us, right? He, he loved us enough to send his only son to die on a cross for you, me, us again, for our sins. So, so how do you quantify that kind of love? How do you measure it? Right? I love ice cream. Vanilla is my favorite, you know, but it's kind of down here, right? Um, I love the innocent smile and laughter of a child, right? That's a little bit higher than ice cream, right? Um, you know, I love my children, my wife, my family. I love all of you. So we're getting a little higher on the scale, right? I love our Lord Jesus Christ. So those of you that know me know that I lost my oldest son to cancer. It was a two-year battle. I watched him fight not only the physical pain, but the emotional pain as well. At that time, I myself started harboring anger, bitterness, you know, over everything that he was going through. You know, I would have traded places with him and never given it a second thought. I would have given my life for my sons. You know, I think that's a pretty common response among parents. Uh, you know, I think that kind of love's a little higher up there than the ice cream, right? Um, you know, so God loved us so much that he sent his son to be ridiculed, beaten, whipped, stabbed with a spear, nailed to a cross to pay the price for our sins. So when I first started reading the Bible, I was reading the story about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. And I could not wrap my head around why. Why would he do this for us, for me? What? So one night after a small group, uh, Tim Miller, he's an elder here at this church, he had asked me, he knew I'd been reading the Bible, and he had asked me what, uh, what I was reading. So I shared my question, why? And Tim simply stated, because he loves me. Jesus loves me. Simple answer, we make it pretty complicated. So at that time, I still didn't understand and definitely couldn't measure you know, God's love. So the second half of that verse says that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So then I started to believe. I could feel God talking to me, pushing me. The more I read and, and the more I prayed, I drew closer to him but I still couldn't measure and quantify God's love for me. So I, I met with Dale. He's a senior uh, minister here. And uh, we talked for a while. And then Dale promptly brought me in here and he baptized me in that water right over there. Right. So when I, went under that old, uh, when I went under the water, the old Kevin died. When I came out of that water, I felt the love of God and that inner peace that came with his mercies that I still can't put into words what that really means. Um, but I did know that I was different. Um, so as I stand here today, I still can't measure or quantify God's love, but what I can say is that I can see and feel all of God's love and graces in my life now. So in closing, if you haven't accepted God's love and graces and wanna do so, that water's warm. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and thank you all for listening.